if you go to any city, if you go to any nation, you will find that usually a part of their belief, a part of uh, their myths and their fairy tales, the jinn are mentioned. So whether it be ghosts or spirits or the dead returning in spirit form, these are all what we find in the tradition of the people, usually they're referring to the jinn. So this unseen world, the unseen what they call spirits. Concerning their origin and their creation, we know that the jinn are created from a smokeless flame of fire. It means the very edge or the tip of the flame, the purest and hottest part of the flame. This is what the jinn are created from. This doesn't mean that they are now fiery. The Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he was in his masjid in Medina. And whilst he was praying, he reached out and he like grabbed something. Later on, Aisha radiallahu anha, she narrated that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam saw that a shaitan, a devil, a jinn was walking towards him and was going to try and attack the messenger alayhi salatu salam. So the messenger sallallahu alayhi wasallam was able to grab hold of this jinn, throw him to the ground. And the messenger alayhi salam had held him and the words of the messenger were until I felt the coolness of his tongue on my hand. And then the Prophet ﷺ continued and he said, Were it not for the prayer of my brother Sulaiman, I would have tied up this devil in the morning so that each of the people could see him. Because Sulaiman ﷺ said, Oh Allah, don't give anybody a kingdom like mine after me. We know that from the kingdom of Sulaiman ﷺ was that Allah had given him the ability to do what? To have control of the jinn. Normally, we cannot see the jinn unless they take the form of animals or they take the form of humans. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, referring to shaitan, Verily, he and his, his followers or his tribe, they see you from where you cannot see them. The Messenger alayhi salam, he told us that there are three types of jinn. One type flies through the air. And these are the types of jinn which can cover vast distances in a very short space of time. They can go huge distances that would take us hours or days to travel. The jinn of this type which flies, they can cover these distances in the blink of an eye. Another type comes in the form of snakes and dogs. And a third type is based in one place but it travels about.